So this weekend, um, well, last weekend, as the case may be now, uh, well, a couple of weekends by the time this video has gone up, we will have seen probably the, well, the aftermath of what we call the, the Football Lads Alliance. And this is essentially just another EDL. Uh, you've had exactly the same members and speakers speak at basically at an event instead of actually come out and use racist terminology they've come out and just basically just start dog whistling um particularly against diane abbott which was <laughs> uh, particularly in the vice interview where it's recorded as saying diane abbott and her people so yeah <laughs> uh needless to say there have been other People who covered this reported numerous amounts of these guys chanting racist things, that, you know, passers by. People who were handing out, you know, anti racism leaflets got her abuse hurled at them, uh, bottles thrown at them. So, this is essentially just the other, the start of the EDL again, because when the EDL first marched, they weren't violent to begin with. Uh, it was when they saw the numbers they could attract. That's when they started getting violent. That's when they started targeting mosques, uh, trade unions, socialist uh, gatherings. That was their essential target. And there's no doubt they will follow this exact same pattern of behaviour. Indeed, uh, I highly suspect that Tommy Robinson will get involved sooner or later. Uh, not that he's already been involved now, as quote unquote by the one of the guy's leaders said that they have a term of mutual respect and cooperation. So yeah, <laughs> uh, evidently they are taking cues from Robinson, and they are organising it exactly the same way. They have a secret Facebook group, so that again people can't, uh, shall we say, openly see uh, their racism, but. You know, people have joined the group that have, you know, their posts have leaked out. For example, one guy uh, basically said, you don't tackle extremism, you have to tackle, you know, uh, Islam. And then the mod or the admin for the page responded, said, yeah, we need to tackle Islam. And of course, these types of events are just breeding grounds for Islamophobia, as you may have seen the Vice uh, report on the march. The second, uh, towards the end of the interview with the one of the guy's leaders, you have other people coming in, and things are starting to get a bit racist. That's when he suddenly pulls the interview because he doesn't want you know these groups. Typically, when they first start, they don't want to appear uh, out and out racist. <coughs> It's always the softly, softly approach because that way they can con more people in and then start to try and solidify their gain, so to say. And then, well, we'll have to see what happens. But no doubt you will now start to see an active um, resistance start to form against them. You will start to see, just like we had with the EDL, you will start to see anti, you know, FLA marches whatever, you name it, and then sooner or later it will start to break up because the people who softly support it will realise, actually, hang on, this is quite a racist organisation, and just walk away from it, leaving, essentially, the hard liners. And, well, as with the EDL, uh, they basically formed off into splinter groups, and no, surprisingly enough, the FLA is a splinter group of um, the EDL that has now sort of grown and blossomed, um, not surprisingly by the fact that it turns out the march on Saturday was heavily advertised by a paid for PR firm. So there was a firm out there that they paid for to help advertise this event. So <laughs> uh, this is not, um, shall we say, grassroots. This was very much uh, a paid for uh, performance shall we say so whether or not they actually can um, persuade more grassroots support they are from what we've seen so far hitting up football forums so I'd advise people if you are fre frequent football forums and you see these people 
um, you know, make people aware that this group is very sort of a, a racist group. They are closed at the moment, but I have no doubt in time they will show their true colours, just like, again, the EDL did, Tommy Robinson has, you know, the BNP, when, when they tried to look respectable, uh, these these people will out themselves sooner or later. It always happens with these groups because they are racist, and it doesn't matter. Sooner or later, they just can't keep it in the closet. They all come out. So keep an eye on these folks because, as I've said, they are just the next EDL. And just like the EDL, we'll just, you know, get rid of them like we did the EDL, which was, you know, counter-protesting and making people aware of what these guys are really are up to. So, make no mistake, um, FLA, uh, eyes are already on you and watching you. You've already slipped up already and the evidence is already out there uh, for people to see. So, it's just a matter of time before you end up imploding. So, I've got no worries about you suddenly rising, shall we say.